YouTube, guess who's back? It's Patrick Hay. I'm finally living in LA. If you've been following my YouTube journey, you would know that I've been working for this goal my entire life. But yes, the rumors are true. I was scammed by a fake Uber driver. So this all took place the weekend of Gay Pride in Los Angeles, the best weekend ever. We were day drinking the entire day. It was a struggle. So by the end of the night, you know I wasn't there. I was blacked out, slurred, and thirsty in the club. When the night is finally wrapping up, aka I need to go to bed and go to work the next day, Monday morning, apparently this Chevrolet Suburban pulls up or has been sitting there and lures me into his car. I don't even know how. <laughs> it's like a damn kidnap case. I guess he was saying that, oh, oh, I'm cheaper, I'm faster than an Uber. It's so busy right now, come into my car. And my drunken self was lured by that promise of cheap and fast because I'm broke, LA, you know how it is. So I'm in the car and I'm in the front seat next to him. I want to say his name so bad, but I don't want to get sued. But let's just call him GM. So during the car ride, I just don't even know what we're talking about, but money comes up. So I'm just like, how am I going to pay you for this? Like, I thought you were an Uber or else why else would I be in your car? I don't do this. I don't get into random people's cars. That's not me. Personally, I sent him $17 initially and $17 that's fine. That is still a lot, but that's fine if That's how much he wants. I guess at one point in the car He took my phone and put in a hundred dollars on Venmo because I kind of remember asking him for his contact name on Venmo Obviously, I don't know how to spell your name So I give him my phone and he probably put the amount and his name at the same time and charged me the next day I wake up the first thing I do is I I'm a bit distraught, but I check my phone, check my bank account, go on to Venmo, and I see that I was paying someone $117. My jaw dropped. I was like, did I really pay this person $117 to go 20 minutes? If the person accepts the money, they have to send the money back to you. That's the only way. And obviously he accepted. I comment on all of the Venmo posts trying to get his attention. I comment on that. I find him on Facebook because of my stalking skills and leave, hey, like, thanks for the ride, but didn't mean to send all that fucking money. Um, can we talk? Can you give me some back? Like, hello. Come around 10 p.m. that night, I'm laying in bed about to go to sleep because I love to sleep early on the weekdays and I got a fucking phone call from GM. My phone is vibrating, my heart is racing. It's like fucking when a stranger calls. Pick up, go hello. And this fucker is like insane. Saying that we should meet, we should meet, you can get some of the money back, but we have to meet. I'm like, why can't you just Venmo me the money back on Venmo? It's just a back and forth, back and forth. He like won't budge and it's just like very crazy. Cause I'm like, who are you? Like, why are you arguing with a LA twin? We finally just settle on 50. I'm like, fuck it. At least I get some money back. Like I need money. Okay, but then after that phone call, like we don't end up meeting until like a week later. Bitch better have my money. Whereas Riri with her damn crew in the guns. I even have one of my coworkers pretend to be my lawyer on the fucking phone because he keeps calling me during work hours. Like, could you leave me alone? You're harassing me at this point. You're not a real car service. And he still won't budge. Like, I feel like that pissed him off even more, but I'm like, okay, I can't go too crazy because I still want my damn $50. We finally meet. He chooses a Starbucks on Santa Monica and WeHo back where the shit went down. And obviously all my coworkers know about my struggle, so one of them comes with me. And we kind of do a stakeout at the damn Starbucks or go undercover. I'm just waiting there, tick tock, tick tock. I've been in the Starbucks for like a good 30 minutes and look like I got stood up sitting there at the table by myself. And then all of a sudden, this person walks by me. And then I'm like, wait, was that fucking him? It was fucking him. We just start talking to each other. He's like awkwardly standing so close to me, so creepy. And he's acting the same as he was on the phone, just blabbing on and on and on. Like, and I know for a fact, he probably cashed my money and bought a Universal Studio ticket because I saw on his Facebook that he went. So, 
you're welcome. He gives me the money in cash. Thank God it is like a monumental moment in life. Like I have my fucking money, 50 of it. And then I was like, hey, um, I kind of forget what happened that night. Can I see your car? So we walk over to his car. There are cars behind him backed up while he has his hazards on in the Starbucks. Like you are a horrible driver. And I take a picture of his license plate because of course I need to get some more proof. I just kind of look in the car and it, I get some memories while looking around the car. I'm like, I do kind of remember being in here, like talking to you and some of the events of the night. And why did I even get in the car in the first place? I straight up asked him, cause I'm like, well, why would I get in this car? And he keeps saying that he's a private driving company, like a driving service. I'm like, what's your company name? Like who, who are you driving with? Like what company accepts payments through Venmo? And he kept showing me all these Venmos of people sending him money. And I'm like, damn, they're getting scammed too. At the end of the day, he gave me the money and then tried to like hug me and like be friendly about it. But I was like, no, the minute after that, I had to block his ass. I never want to see you again. Like, I don't want you to have my information. I go to the Starbucks parking lot. Me and my coworker, like mission accomplished. At least no one got hurt. And we see him pull up and we're like, oh my God, is he coming to find me again? So we're hiding behind this pillar until he finally leaves like a good 30 minutes later and then I can finally just get the hell out of there and forget about this. I just want this to be like a PSA to all my viewers that just, when you have an Uber, check the license plate and make sure they're an actual Uber driver with the company because that's not what happened to me. <laughs> Shout out to Uber, no shade to you, just I still am traumatized by this event. So learn from my tale and I love you guys so much. I have plenty of more story times because so much has happened in LA and you know I have shit to tell and expose. But I've loved catching up with everyone. Send me your comments, questions, and Patrick K, signing out.